When I first started working out, the one thing I wanted was huge biceps. I would do the same standard bicep curls repetitively, hoping it was going to land me arms like this. While yes, I maybe gained a little bit of progress, it was nowhere near my aspirations. It was only a year or two later, as I got more knowledgeable and started going to the gym, that I found out why I was still stuck looking like this, and how if I altered how I trained my biceps, incorporating different exercises, the way I performed reps, that I'd get results two or three times quicker. Carry on watching to blow your biceps up. It's very easy when you start to heavily focus on the basic bicep curls, as it's the most obvious and widely known bicep exercise. And it doesn't take much skill to perform or get it right, or does it? Could you adapt the way you do your bicep curls to get better results and quicker? Well, let's firstly start by breaking down how your biceps are made up. The bicep isn't just one big muscle, they have two main heads, this being the short head and the long head. The short head is on the inside of your bicep, closer to your chest, and the long head is on the outside. To gain the most bicep size, you need to ensure that you are training both of these heads effectively, to get your biceps fuller and your bicep peaks higher. There are also a couple more parts to your biceps that often aren't focused on enough. It can aid you in getting wider biceps and therefore wider arms. These two parts are called the brachialis and the brachioradialis. The brachialis is a deep muscle that is positioned slightly below the main bicep heads located at this part of the arm in between the bicep and the tricep. Training this can help you avoid this situation where you have big arms from the side but look skinny from the front. Training the brachialis can help increase the width of your biceps as well as helping increase the bicep peak. And the brachioradialis is a muscle that goes from your biceps to your forearm across the elbow joint. This is primarily a forearm muscle and it can help to add size on the top of your forearm. So now that you know how the biceps are made up, what should you do in the gym or at home to hit all of these? There are many bicep exercises that do well in training all of these at once and some are more specific so you can hit your weak points. Firstly is everyone's favourite, the standing bicep curl. This effectively works your short head, but as mentioned earlier, it can be adapted to hit specific areas more effectively. One I love is the dumbbell incline curl, where you set a bench on an incline and do your bicep curl starting from behind your body and curl all the way up. This allows you to get a full range of motion and allows you to fully stretch your biceps out. This is really good for your short and long bicep heads. Secondly is the hammer curl, where you take Take the dumbbells vertically and perform a curl. This I often do on the incline bench as well. These are good for developing your long head and will especially help you build up your brachialis. Then the next one, the preacher curl, which can be performed on a machine with dumbbells or with a barbell. This is good for focusing on your bicep peak and your short head and is great for building bicep size. This can also be performed with one arm at a time, which can be great for focusing on strengthening and building each arm. To get looking bigger, you are going to want to build a big back, chest and shoulders. To see specific videos on them in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Anyway, back to your biceps. Another great exercise is chin-ups, a compound exercise that will help build your back, shoulders, etc, as well as your biceps. Great for growing your short head and your long head. This will also help with grip strength and your forearms. If you wanted to further focus on your long head in this exercise too, using a close grip with your chin up is a great way to do this. Another exercise that I don't see many people doing is the reverse grip bicep curl. This one I like doing with a bar attachment on a cable machine. This will really help grow your brachialis and your brachioradialis. Another great exercise I've been using for time is the cross body hammer curl. This can be done with a dumbbell or an attachment on a cable machine. In this one you take it from your hip all the way up to the opposite shoulder to properly work on your brachialis. A couple of extra options could be wide bicep bicep curls, which is a way of performing bicep curls where you turn your elbow fully focus on that short head. Also concentration curls, where you rest your elbow in the inside of your leg while doing a single hand bicep curl. 
to further help hit your short head. Now before you go off and try a few of these exercises, something you should think more about is how you are performing these reps. You need to make sure that you are focusing on squeezing your biceps as you perform the reps and at a greater range of motion. Don't feel like you need to curl incredible amounts of weight to gain any progress, especially if you are just starting. Some of the best sets that I've done in my bicep and tricep exercises was when I was using a lighter weight than usual, but performing them slower, focusing on letting my arms down from a curl, the eccentric part of the lift, for around three seconds on every rep. Try this in your next session and I promise you, you'll be burning at the end of it. To get massive arms, to really fill out your shirt sleeves and get looking muscular, you are also going to need to work on your triceps alongside your biceps, as your arm is made up of two times more tricep than it is bicep. To see how you can grow huge triceps, watch this video right here and subscribe.